So people were were grimacing about this, and this actually kind of bleeds into another topic as well. That um, there's a big list of people who have associated with uh, with Keemstar, and this is a personally extraordinarily frustrating topic to, for me. And this kind of blends in exactly with the last thing I was talking about, where. You know, the forum has lots of opinions, and I have opinions that people don't like, and that's perfectly fine, but it causes us a lot of trouble, and we miss out on a ton of opportunity because of either spurious allegations or completely made-up bullshit or the fact that, you know, a different subsect of the community says something that, that is completely unrelated to the main topic, but people just don't don't bother to just delineate between those. Shadman is like the exact opposite. Shadman... You know, people say, say all sorts of awful shit about me. Shadman is a pedophile. <laughs> he, he draws he draws porn from life of children, which is ostensibly constructing child pornography. And I've mentioned this on stream before, but like just using Daphne Keene as a uh, as a reference, who was the actor in Logan, um, he drew pictures of her being raped by Hugh Jackman, and if a teenager a teenage girl who worked on the set surrounded by men like that sees f pictures of people putting her into situations like that. That's traumatizing. There's no way that it's not traumatizing. Um, there's no way that you can say that he's not a pedophile too. Cause by the way, in the, the chat logs surrounding the Daphne Keen stuff, he's on um, discord, of course, saying like, Oh, Daphne Keen, my love. And it's like just stills of the movie. So him coming out and saying that's the, the act, the character Logan and not the actress Logan or um, Daphne Keene. It's bullshit. It's contradicted by his own messages. Um, but somehow, despite being an open pedophile, creating effectively revenge pornography of children to uh, piss off creators he doesn't like on YouTube, he was like a pop culture icon. Every you could instantly recognize Shadman's porn because it has like this weird glossy shrink wrapped look to it that's immediately identifiable. And it's always like these super toxic, bright colors. So you, you just immediately know that it's him. And it created like an aesthetic that he made kind of like fascist with like his um, personal aesthetic, which I guess was kind of like an in-joke because he drew the most degenerate shit possible. But then his attire was fascist. And I think it's supposed to be like tongue-in-cheek or deliberately contradictory. But for some reason, this took off. And it's true. All these people did direct like collaborations with him dolan dark sky williams um the editor for pewdiepie oni ng psychic pebbles uh, elvis the alien ricky berwick in particular i think did multiple things with him over over years on twitter um then there's people like rusty cage did shit with him i think rust and rusty cage is like big f friends with um Mumkey jones and i'm pretty sure that Mumkey jones is like hardcore up shadman's asshole uh, Shoe on Head, The Amazing Atheist. Um, and then I remember in particular, oh, Bella Delphine um, was, did direct collaborations with him. Uh, two men who was canceled for being a pedophile. And I think Anisa Joma also directly did things with Shadman. And it's like, while the Kiwi Farms was rank languishing under hardcore censorship for um, outing people as being predators and pests, Shadman was openly distributing pornography drawn from life of children, of real kids, and was like a celebrity for doing it. And it's the most infuriating fucking thing ever. And a bunch of people got pissy uh, with me pointing this out and said, oh, well, now you're, you're doing the thing where you're trying to cancel everybody. You got like a taste of blood and now you're trying to cancel all these porns. I cannot name a single fucking person on this list that I would feel bad for, except maybe Rusty Cage. And the the Psychic Pebbles, the Smiling Friends guy, I don't watch that, but I know that he's really popular. But it's like, fuck them. Make them all do their apology dances. I've had to, I've, I've been held accountable for everything everybody's ever fucking said on a website with 20 million fucking posts over the last 11 years. And you guys did direct co collaborations with a pornographer, which, first of all, fuck you. And then a pornographer who does draw, uh, drawings of people's kids getting raped, uh, double fuck you. So now, now it's your time. You get to apologize. I want to see an apology from every single one of these fucking people. I want to see Bella Delphine, who did, uh, uh, like, rape roleplay porn. And, like, porn of her, like, eating fake glass with, like, blood gushing out of her mouth. 
Fuck them all. Why do I feel bad about these people? I don't feel bad about any of these fucking people. Make Anisa Joma grovel to get back in the good graces of, of YouTube. They did it to you. They did it to all your favorite people for years, and they got away with it. And now you have a direct line between these people and a guy who is a fucking pedophile. Make them grovel. Make them go to ChatGPT and say, ah, Microsoft, I, um, I accidentally did a collaboration with a pornographer who draws revenge pornography of people's children sucking off politicians that I don't like. Um, and now everyone thinks that I'm a skeevy weirdo. How do I apologize? And they can do it. It's funny. It's funny. That's the real answer. It's funny. And by the way, this got um, enough likes and retweets where I had a bunch of people like like the lollycons came out. And oh, my God, do I have that video? <laughs> Hold up. Let me find it real quick. Oh, God, this is really funny. And I don't know. I'm never going to be able to find this. It's a, um, it's a video. Oh God. If you have this, please post it in the Matt, the internet thread. It's the video of the guy in the, um, the anime convention yelling at a woman holding a sign. You know what it says? I don't want to spoil it, but you know what it says? If you have this video, Please post it in the Matthew Internet thread. Like right now. I'm going to hunt it down. <laughs> Before anyone calls me a, a hypocrite for supporting cancel culture, I don't care. I'm a hypocrite. I'm soulless at this point. I fucking hate all these people. I, I'm kind of I'm kind of being tempted by the dark side. I have all these people that says, Revenge is good. You want blood. I'm like, yeah, actually, I fucking do. I fucking do. I do want blood. It's true. I am a hypocrite. It's true. Give me the flesh. Give me the flesh. I want it. I want a pound of flesh. Each of you, line up with the knife. Ricky Berwick, I don't give a fuck. You're still going to have to found a, find a pound of it somewhere on you. You're going to have to cut something off that weighs a pound. No, don't, don't try to give me, oh, I have less body mass. No excuse as a full pound from everybody. Oh, wait, here. Okay, I got it. Here, 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 let me summarize my reply, uh, the replies to my, uh, to, to the, the local LLC tweet that I showed on screen. Amen. Boo! Seriously? You in for a fight? Oh, are you serious? You looking for a fight with that sign? Fertilizing lollies? Hell for ya? You really looking for a fight? Seriously? Seriously? You looking for a fight? <laughs> that basically sums it up. <laughs> Boo. I love, I love the autism voice too. It's so strong. It's such like a distinct autism voice. Oh yeah, by the way, I think I can show this on stream. I was, uh, crop it. Mm. Yeah, I think I can show this. I found this, by the way. Someone found this in the uh, Shadman thread. He bought a child sex doll. This guy that, let me remind you, all these people did, ex did uh, collabs with, were friendly with on Twitter, who supported, well, of course... Never, ever would speak the name of the evil Kiwi Farms. We're buddy-buddy with somebody who had a child sex doll. This thing has a vagina that he has fucked, and he paid money for it. He paid money for it that he earned from doing collabs with high-profile people like Bella Delphine and these other content creators who do porn, and all these people like Psycho Pebbles and Rusty Cage and Monkey Jones. I don't know. I don't know. Well, maybe you could say, oh, it's just... just yeah, there's no way they could have known. There's no way they could have known. It's not their fault. It's not like, it's not like that. There's an in-depth thread containing all this information, um, including the information about uh, Keemstar drawing revenge pornography of a content creator's adopted child, blowing Donald Trump, that has been in existence since 2016, on a website that's public and easily accessible by every member of the internet. It didn't exist. There's no way they could have known. 
just uh, completely, completely helpless to the situation. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice.